Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here, teaming up with How To Video Channel. Today we are going to show you how to create paragraph styles in Adobe InDesign. So this is uh, the third video in our series. We've got a whole series coming out, tons of videos, uh, some great articles as well. So you can check them out if you're more of a reader and you want some step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, or if you like the video, this is for you. So go ahead hit the subscribe, hit the little bell down there, alert, uh, get notified when we make new videos so you can stay up on top and you can get your book laid out in Adobe InDesign and know exactly how to use it and what to do. So the first thing to create a paragraph style, uh, basically a paragraph style is something that you can use to edit your book and streamline the editing process. You can take your text from Microsoft Word, copy and paste it all in Adobe InDesign, and then use paragraph styles so that you can make all of your chapter titles be the same, all of your body text be the same, and any headings that you have, you could have them all be the same. Basically, it's a streamlined process to make sure that your text is uniform and all looks good. So. The first thing you need to do is get to the paragraph styles window. Now for most of you this will be over here on the right side of your screen. It'll say paragraph styles. There's a little tile there. If that is there for you, you can go ahead and click it and you're ready to go. If not, you will need to go up here to the window option. Go all the way down here to styles and then right over here to paragraph styles. You'll see mine is checked which means it is open right here. So that is an alternative option. You can click that to get it and here it is. Once you have that taken care of, you now have the paragraph styles window open. You can go ahead and go down here to these four little icons. You won't be able to click the trash and you won't be able to click the override. So that is no problem. You can create a new paragraph style group or a new paragraph style. You will want to create a new style. So you can click that and you'll see it comes up here as default with paragraph style one. Go ahead and double click it. This is all of the options that you will ever need when creating a paragraph style. The first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and give it a name. So we're going to just call it uh, chapter because that is going to be the style that I'm going to use on all of my chapters. So that'll be a certain style, then the body text can be a certain style, and so on and so forth. After you title it, you can just leave all of this be the same. Don't mess with it. Go over here to basic character formats. It is the second one down. Here are all of the text settings, so you can change your font family. Go ahead and make it uh, whatever you like. I'm going to make mine bold italic, and then I'm going to kick the font up to about 18. And I'm going to leave all this other stuff as it is. From there, you could you could also underline it. You know, you could put it crossed out if you wanted. Um, anything you like. This is all you. However, you want your chapter title to look, or whatever your paragraph style is. After that, there are a ton of different options. Go ahead and click through them and see if any of them apply to you. You can try it out with trial and error uh, by creating some text and then highlighting this little preview thing and you'll see your changes reflect over here on your document. Otherwise, go ahead, you can just click through each of them and see. The main ones that I like to hit are hyphenation. Hyphenation is uh, like when it hits the end of a line and if the word is too long, it'll break it in half and put a hyphen and put the, end, the first part of the word on the upper line and the second part of the word on the lower line. I absolutely hate that because it's more difficult to read, so I always uncheck that one. And then the justification is another important one. So for my chapter title, I would prefer that the title is in the center of my page instead of across the whole page. So I'm going to change it to align center. And then when you're done with all of that, go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that this is updated to be chapter. Now, that was way number one to create your paragraph style. An alternative way that is a little quicker and that is also a little bit uh, less in depth is to go ahead and type out some text on your page. So we'll have to just grab the type tool here and then we'll drag a text box. Doesn't need to be perfect, we just need some text in there. So now we're gonna type in test. Okay, so here's our text. 
Now, I would like it to be in the center of the page, so I'll go over here to my toolbar and click center. I would also like it to be bigger, so I'm going to make it bigger, make it about 32, and then we can change the font. Let's make it Arial Black and a regular. You can do anything you like here. We can change all of the little options. You could strike through, underline, subscript. You can have uh, different things here. If you hover over everything on your menu bar, it will show you exactly what they are. So you can go ahead and set this to be however you like. You have stroke, fill, all the stuff. So you go ahead, change all of this to be exactly like you want it. So let's say this is done. That is my paragraph style that I want for my chapter. What I will do is go ahead and highlight that and then go over here and click create new style. Now you'll see what happened was paragraph style one came upon here. And this is now everything that I set over here in the chapter. So to show you what I mean, I'll hit enter a couple times. We'll just type a line of QWERTY text. Okay, then I'm going to highlight it and I will click the new one that we just made by selecting and clicking new. And you'll see it automatically changed it to be just like this above text. So that way is a little faster to create your paragraph style. And of course, if you want to change the name or edit it later on, go ahead and double click it. And you can see here you have all those same options available. So. That is how you can go ahead and create all your paragraph styles and get it set up so that any type of text you want, you can just highlight it and click on a paragraph style and have it be changed to reflect that style. It is super easy, super fast, and it makes a huge difference when you are laying out your book in Adobe InDesign. So, like I said, we have tons more videos coming out. We've got articles out there that you can check out. If you have any questions or need any help whatsoever, go ahead and post it in the comments below. You can put anything there. We'll do our best to help you between how-to video channels and myself. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell at the bottom and be notified when we put out new videos that can help you create your book.